wind down from your day and prepare for sleep with this combination of soothing movement and self-massage designed to help your body fully release tension and deeply relax. I'm Hannah Ray from Clarity Pilates and I'm so excited to be spending this nice restorative time with you. We are going to start with just a little self foot massage today, a really nice treat for the body after a long day. So we're going to take the thumbs and just start to dig them into the arch of the foot right below the ball of the foot. And we're just going to be doing this little motion where we press in and up, almost like a little gentle stroking motion. And you can choose how much pressure you would like here. And we're just going to take this all through the arch of the foot. And you can really touch yourself gently and move quite slowly here. No reason that you have to push into any sore spots that feel achy. You can be incredibly gentle and this will still be really effective at releasing tension in your feet. Gorgeous. Now we're going to take the thumb and make some little circles on the pads of the ball of the foot. So really just at the joint underneath, you're going to make a little circle on the big toe, second toe, third toe, just letting those joints have a little direct touch and love. And again, just pushing only as hard as it feels good for you. Beautiful. And then you can start to thread your fingers through your toes. Now for some of you this may be very intense. You may not like that feeling and that's okay if you don't just grab your toes on the top and give them a little squeeze. But if you can interlace all you're going to do is squeeze between the toes like a fist and then relax. Just do that a couple times feeling how it really gets into the fascial webbing of the feet releasing that deep tension. You can unthread those fingers now. Whew, might feel a little intense. And then it's gonna be like a little claw, a little squeeze motion on your heel. So you really just grip the whole heel and then you almost just let your hands slide off. And we're just massaging the whole heel bone right up into that Achilles attachment. This is a place where a lot of us get really sore. When we walk, we heel strike and we put pressure through this part of the foot. So it really likes a little bit of massage to let that go. And then just go ahead, scooch back and shake your legs out. Notice how the two sides feel different, maybe not just in the feet, but perhaps all the way up the leg. And then of course, we'll be doing this on the second side. So start again with those thumbs pressing into the arch of the foot. I'm gonna let you do this at your own pace. I'll just talk you through, but for the most part, I'll be quiet now. You can just enjoy your massage and really deepen your connection with your body. Beautiful. When you're done rubbing the arch of your foot, go ahead and transition to rubbing that little circle onto the joints at the ball of the foot. One or two little circles for each joint. And when that's complete, you'll just find that interlace of the hands or squeeze your toes and give three or four nice firm squeezes. Nice. Once you've squeezed your toes three or four times, grab that heel and just squeeze the heel five or six times to release any tension back there. When that massage feels complete for you, go ahead and join me on all fours. We're gonna flow through a variation on some cat cows just to mobilize our spine a little before bed. 
So you can see I've tucked my toes underneath and then as I arch my spine, I'm gonna lift my chest, keep the toes tucked under, and then I'm gonna let the toes go as I round. So when I round, I press the tops of my feet into the mat, and when I arch and lift my chest, I tuck my toes and stretch the bottoms of my feet. So this is just a little add-on. You don't have to do this if it feels confusing for you and you just like don't wanna think about it that much this evening, but it might be really nice after the foot massage to feel that head-to-toe connection. Three or four more of these, just flowing your own pace, your own breath. Beautiful. After the next time you've rounded your spine, go ahead and join me kneeling or sitting, whatever's most comfortable for you. And we're just gonna do a little neck roll to release any tension in the neck and shoulders. So you can start by turning your head to the right. Dip the chin, little half moon, down around up on the left, and then look back to center and lift your posture. We'll reverse, looking left, down around and up on the right, and back to center. So just continuing these really gentle circles of the neck. Nice little massage, and you should just feel your shoulders melting away from your ears. And going nice and slow, take these one more to each side on your own. When you next come back to center, take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. <sighs> And that is it, you are all done. I hope you feel unwound and relaxed and ready for bed. Thank you so much for joining me this evening. I would also love to see you during the day, <laughs> during my online mat classes. I've linked to those for you in the description below. And of course, if you like these videos, please support our channel by liking this video, subscribing to the channel and leaving a comment down below, letting me know what you'd like to see next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time on the mat.